I don't really bend with them like that. So I volume. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's the girl I Spy Fashion here with another constant video. So for those who of you are who are new here, um, my name is Ashanti and my channel is about affordable fashion, lifestyle, and a little bit of beauty. Enough about me. Let's talk about you guys. If this is your first time here on my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if this is not, welcome back. So for all the people who are returning to another video but have yet to press that subscribe button, I'm going to need you to go ahead and press the big old subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification so you can get alerted when you upload. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday and I think I'm going to start again on Tuesday because if you guys have seen this video, it's on Tuesday. And there is a reason behind that. There is. There is. So. I had started a while back this segment on my channel called Trendy Tuesdays where I just give you guys all the latest trends every week and then it started to like drool down because it wasn't working too much. Um, I didn't know if you guys liked it that much so I stopped doing it. However, I got some feedback from a few of you guys and you guys do like Trendy Tuesday so I am bringing it back. So welcome to Trendy Tuesday. So, this Trendy Tuesday, I will be talking about all the new fall trends that are going to be popping. So, if you want to find out what they are, stay tuned for the rest of this video. I'm talking about the fall trends that are going to be super popping, super lit. And of course, because I'm giving to you on the channel, I'm going to tell you all the places you guys could go to get it for the most reasonable pricing. Into the first trend, and I'm wearing one of the first trends. Yeah. So the first trend that is going to be popping for fall slash winter is leather, guys. Leather is making a huge comeback. If it hadn't already, I feel like a leather jacket is a staple for fall. Like it's a it's a fall staple piece. It's something that every girl and every guy should have in their closet if you want to call yourself a fashionista or a fashionista. So, leather. Leather is not only being implemented in leather jackets, but we are also seeing leather being implemented in blouses and dresses and pants, and pants as well. Um, that's like your normal go-to, a leather jacket, a leather pant. But we are seeing it in leather blouses, um, stores like Zara, ASOS, Everyone has like a leather dress, jumpsuits, you name it. You know, with trends, you never want to spend too much money because it's something that's going to be in style and may not be in style in a few months. So you definitely want to get the bang for your buck. So next um, fall and winter trend that I've seen is super popular. I'm also wearing is hair accessories. So right here I have this cute nifty scarf in my head it's tied up like this because this is definitely it right now the way women are tying scarves in their head like whether it be in a ponytail, half up half down look. This scarf I told you guys about in my Forever 21 accessory haul so if you haven't seen that video as well make sure to check it out. I'm going to link both videos down in the description box below so make sure to go check them out for like pricing and all of that um the scarf that i have in my hair but besides just scarves we are seeing hair clips headbands are making a huge 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 comeback because these are not new trends guys like you know fashion always is being recycled and it's always revolving and evolving again so so these two clips I got from Amazon, these pearl um, hair clips. Obviously I can't put them in my hair as of right now because I have my locks going on. But as soon as I get my hair back to its normal state, I will be rocking these. Whether it be like a high little ponytail, and just clip both of them on the side. I can insert a picture here on how I wore them before. And yeah, they're super trendy. 
really cute. You should not pay more than $10 for some clips like these. And I say $10 for both of them. Um, if you order on Amazon, there's a array of different varieties where you can get multi clips in, um, in a set. I also have these these hair clips and they're from my girl Fiona she um, makes these they say glow getter and they're super cute and they fall right in line with the trend that is going on right now um, but you could also like use them as like a pin like your outfit they're multi-use you know so you're definitely getting your bang for your buck there I also noticed that headbands are really in, so I have like this pink velvet like goofy headband. I also have these two headbands that I bought from Forever 21, so they are in Forever 21 haul that I was telling you I got the scarf from, so check that out. And headbands are really really in, it's giving you that 90s to early 2000s look, whether it be like Clueless or the Gossip Girl look headbands are definitely definitely making a comeback and like I said you never want to spend too much on these items because like I said they're a trend so you want to hit up your stores like Forever 21 they definitely have these things from ranging from like $7.90 to $10 depending on what the item is coming in at number four um, we have slashed asymmetrical necklines so according to sources like L and Redbook, these necklines are going to be super trendy. I don't know guys, you guys know I love a good trend, but I'm not always for them. So I've been seeing this around in the stores, so I'm going to show you a picture right here. And I don't really know if I'm for it, I've been seeing it in like sweatshirts, I've seen it in blouses, I've seen it in dresses. The dresses I could pull off, but a sweatshirt with a slash neckline, oh no, oh no. But it has definitely trickled its way down from the runway from the Gucci's and the Maximara to Express and Zara. So I don't know guys, I'm definitely going to have to try this one out, but I'm not super geeked about it. Alright, so for our next trend that is going to be super popping is animal print so like I said I hold it off on showing you guys this but this is the headband that I have and it is snakeskin and I also have some shoes that I got from Zara like a couple weeks ago I've been wearing them so much I love them and they're so comfy um they're also snakes snake print and I am not really one to dive into that animal print but I've really been loving these like you do I'm a very minimal dresser so I would do a basic shirt pant I would love like my accessories always have to pop so a pair of shoes like this are very nifty and handy for me because these always elevate your outfit so snake skin whether it be snake skin cheetah um, leopard, you name the type of animal it's in right now, and Zara is where I got the shoes from. I got the shoes for only like I think 10 bucks. You can hit up stores like Steve Madden and Aldo, but I don't really like something like that, so their shoes are really uncomfortable to me. Um, so yeah, so Snake Beauty has the exaggerated puffy sleeve thing going on so we're definitely hitting that 70s and 80s look all over again and we have the exaggerated sleeves um i found like this really really cute cardigan that i love with it's like a mesh uh puff sleeve and it's just like a regular knit cardigan so that's super cute i do plan on purchasing that and normally it's just the shoulder that has the Selling, but I've noticed with a lot of like stores and designers that they're incorporating the whole sleeve to be very exaggerated so I'm really excited for that because your girl loves a good exaggerated exaggerated sleeve um, I'm all about the shoulder pads I miss shoulder pads I'm glad it's low-key coming back all right with every season there's always colors that are associated with each season so when you think 
fall and winter, you automatically think of like orange, rust, grays, nudes, neutral colors, and of course, my favorite, black. Um, but this fall, we are definitely seeing a lot more color. So to be more precise, greens and purples, they're really playing with the green. Um, pistachio is supposed to be a real hit for this coming fall and winter. It's been all over the runways and people just can't get enough of pistachio. I am really leaning more towards like the emerald greens of the world and the hunters, which are my favorite go-tos, especially during fall. So I'm really excited to try getting a pistachio piece and really playing with that. And purple, ooh, purple, purple, purple. I love purple. So I don't have too much of it in my wardrobe, but I definitely want to try it out. So greens and purples, guys. Pistachio is the color for the season. On to the trends. One of the most popular trends that is going to be up and coming and it hasn't really left the building for good is plaid so as you can see on my pants i have the plaid thing going i love plaid and i have a few jackets or coats that are plaid as well i got both of these babies last year um during fall during winter and yeah like all different types of plaid. We have the smaller plaid here and the bigger one. Both of these items were super cheap. I got this from Forever 21 for about 12 or $10, I believe. I definitely have a video on that. And I also got this beautiful number from Shein. Um, I could list it in the description box down below if they still have it available because I did buy it last fall. I only wore it about one time and yeah the only thing on this I would like to change is probably like the buttons I definitely want to change these to gold buttons I feel like it would just give it a more posh high-end look so the outerwear is going from being cropped to being long super long at that the hemlines on coats and jackets are definitely going to be past your knees, maybe even down to your ankle. The longer, the better, guys. The next one, we have capes. So I have this beautiful green number. And like I told you guys earlier, green is definitely going to be the color of the season. Her cape is from Zara. I've had this cape for years, and I literally only have worn it one time. That's a shame. But with this new fall trend coming back in with capes, I'm definitely gonna be trying to wear it a lot more and challenge myself to play around with it in my wardrobe. If you guys wanna see how I wear this cape, make sure to check me out on Insta at iSpyFashion. Make sure to click the link down below as well as just seeing it here popping up across the screen. All right, so another popular trend that we're gonna be having are the flared denim pants. We saw a glimpse of this during the summer. A lot of women were wearing denim wide leg pants with like graphic tees, crop tops, mules. And we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this for fall and winter. So we're gonna see women wearing a lot of pointed toe or square toe heels, boots, and just belting these nice wide leg pants. It gives you a nice fitted um, silhouette at the top and wide leg at the bottom. Right, last but simply not the least, we have drum please. Blazers. So this is white, so hopefully you guys is coming up on camera. But this beautiful number, I am so excited about this blazer. It was only 20 bucks at Zara. And I funny story, I actually was trying to make my friend get it and she didn't like it well she liked it but it didn't fit her quite well so I got it <laughs> so blazers blazers are going to be the thing of fall of course it's a great layering piece and 
we see a lot of shoulder detailing happening in these blazers. A lot of shoulder pads are coming back in, so broader shoulders, longer blazers, they're not cropped anymore. We want the long, masculine look, oversized, a little baggy, but still very feminine. Um, this one is white, so I can still get away with wearing this white one for fall. Pair it with some denim, a graphic tee to dress it down, and if I want to elevate the look way more, I can pair it with a nice pair of wide leg pants, and a nice blouse inside, some heels, and voila, a whole upscale outfit. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and saw a few that you would like to get for your wardrobe if you don't already have them. Make sure not to break the bank when buying any of these trendy pieces because remember, trends don't last forever. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!